Hey, this is Rich from HouseBarons.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses along with Dave's son, Caleb. And we have a very exciting video for you today because we are actually going to do the final reveal of the lake house. This is a house that we've been renovating for, well, really <laughs> quite a long time. It almost seemed like this day would never come, but check it out. So we spent, well, <laughs> it's a ton of time outside, a ton of time inside. And um, anyway, one of the things out here that we're pretty happy how it turned out is this pond. So we've got a, a waterfall right there. And there are some fish. There's some goldfish. They like to hide under there so the, the herons don't get them. We have a continuation of the waterfall there. It's a very cool little bridge. And this goes into our stream, which then ends in our big falls right there. I like this little sitting area. It's kind of peaceful just for two people, but you're right next to the waterfall. You check out the house. Or you can see what's going on on the lake. So we put in this little nature trail here and you can go up there to that sitting area or you can continue down the hill here. And here's our fire pit. And it's pretty awesome to sit in one of these chairs and just enjoy that view. These pavers took us quite a while to install because there <laughs> were a ton of them. This little nature trail is very nice. And at night, all these lights light up, and it looks really quite awesome. This is the first thing Dave and I did when we got here. We bought a foreclosure, and the owners had sold absolutely everything, including the dock. So <laughs> we, had to, we had to build a dock. So we didn't have any experience with that, but it turned out fine. And then we purchased this boat. And you can see this is a really cool lake. It's a seven mile lake. There's 2,000 houses on it. This is our little stairway that goes into the lake. And that's how the house looks on a sunny day. So we did all the siding on this and it is a four-story house, so that was pretty interesting to try to tackle. We ended up having to use four scaffolds and sometimes put a ladder on top of all those. This is a walkout basement here, which is very nice because you can just grab floats or kayaks or paddle boards. It's kind of like a little resort around here. And Caleb made these nice racks for us. So everything is nice and tidy. All right, so we're moving around to the back of the house. And this is the biggest deck I've seen for a home residence. And we had the pleasure of stripping off every board and redoing those and redoing all the railings. So there's really three decks here. Got the grand deck, 
with a nice seating area. And then there's this little mini area over here, mini deck area. We have our grill and then there's a bedroom up there and it's nice because whoever stays in there can just come out of that private entrance. And the master's got the same deal going. So there's another deck up there and it kind of wraps around to the side. And so from the, the master bedrooms up there and you can come out and enjoy a lot of privacy on that deck. So this is the back of our house and this was another big challenge to do the siding right there. Cause that's pretty high off the ground there. We connected this area, this didn't used to be here, but the only way you could get on the deck previously was to come through the garage and we didn't like that. So we added this walkway on. We had talked about busting through either here or here, but we thought that would take up too much of the deck. So we, we came up with this solution, a nice little walkway. It takes you right into the main level of the house, which is right here. And then the master deck goes up these stairs and you end up right up there. This tree was, I don't know, 35, 40 feet tall. And this was near the end of our renovation. It used to be right here. And you can see that some uh, termites or something ate that away. And the thing was leaning like this toward our house that we had just renovated. And so we called a company to come out and cut the tree down for us and they were quite busy and they were saying oh we'll be there in about two months and so we thought i don't think this thing's got two months before it's gonna knock into our house so anyway we figured out a way and we took that thing down and no renovators were injured in the process all right so yes these are the pavers that took quite a while to install because of the sheer number of them. And then there's this whole area up here. This is how it looks from the front. You got just some extra seating and people come over. You can kind of see the fish. There's about a dozen of them or so. So, let's, let's go check out the inside. There was a lot of debate about this stairway and, you know, what to do with it to make it modern. And in the end, we just painted it white and added the runner in the middle and we redid the railings and we like how it turned out. It's pretty grand. There's our foyer. And they've had to paint the ceiling up there and that was, <laughs> that was quite dicey. So, here we are at the lake house. Hurrah. So here is what's known as the English drinking room. And there was a lot of debate about this room as well. Like, should we, you know, totally renovate it or what should we do? So anyway, ultimately we left these beams because we thought they were so cool. We painted the walls, we put a new flooring, but we left those beams and that stone facade that's on the wall because it just, it has kind of a fun feel to it. It's got, it's got a, a, an interesting look to it. And these are my wife's father's chairs and we can kind of remember him in this room and it's it seems like a place that he would definitely have wanted to have hung out so it's very cool 
you know, if you have a big crowd here, it's, it's neat to get away and just, you can kind of <laughs> get a little peace if you, if a person just wants to, you know, have a moment to themselves. And then there used to be a double sided fireplace here and it was indoor outdoor. But the thing about that is then you couldn't see this lake view. So we decided to get rid of that and, and put in this bay window and bench. And we like how that turned out. All right. This floor of this level used to be actually on three levels. So there were two step downs. One went down six inches, one went down a foot. And so it took a while for us to level it. So now the only step down is the one into the English drinking room, but that's kind of its own little separate deal. So everything else is on one level and we like this flooring. And so we were kind of looking for a modern but relaxed lake vibe. And when you come here, it is, you know, you feel very peaceful. So these used to be a whole bunch of just little bitty chopped up rooms. There, there were all kinds of them. There was like a, a library and um, <laughs> well, in the middle here where this chair is, there was a massive fireplace and it went from the basement. It was double sided in the basement, double sided here and went all the way up through all four floors. So <laughs> that was one of the biggest renovations that we did was to remove that fireplace. And we removed all the walls and we put up um, a beam, LVL beam right there. And that is supporting the house. And it's a gas fireplace, really nice for the fall and the winter. And it's ventless, so you get the heat into the room and it's just kind of like a little mini furnace and it is very wonderful. And then, you know, this is big time open concept. So this is where we have our dining table. And a little mini fridge for extra drinks over here. And then there's seating for quite, quite a few folks in there. And we can fit a ton of people when you include this table and that room and these bar stools. So you got a little coffee bar going over here. These are Cambria quartz counters. And Dave was all about the waterfall. So hopefully you like it because that was some extra cash right there. So we like the design of this, uh, this kitchen. It was, you know, kind of a narrow kitchen. So we were initially going to go with an Island, but this peninsula counter just made more sense. And it's a good solution. If you've got a narrow kitchen. And our farmhouse sink. And of course our, our touch faucet. Now that I have it, Man, when I'm at my house, I'm always knocking into it and we don't have one. So there's more cabinets. It's our nice fridge and other appliances. And then here's our pantry. We repurposed these doors actually from the little library den. And uh, Caleb put this paper on here and it makes it look like etched glass. And I think that worked out really nice. Here's our little guest bathroom. And we've got some nice tall ceilings. And that room is our garage and we still have all of our renovation stuff in there. So I'm not gonna be showing that, but um, it's a pretty big garage. So our cooktop has this telescopic downdraft system and it's very cool. So check this out. 
we put the remote for it here in this little drawer. I just think that is awesome. It's very James Bond, but it's also for our purposes practical because now we don't have some big ugly ventilation hood, you know, sitting right there. We've got this nice open area. This is our gas stove, five burners. This room has a really amazing view of the lake. It's nice just to kind of look out and there's no boats there today, but on the weekend it gets jammed. All right, so now let's go up the fun staircase and we'll check out the bedroom level. So this is, there's four bedrooms in this house and this one we call the green room. It's a nice, nice room, very peaceful. It's got a little sitting chair there. And this one also, it has a good view of the pond and you can see the lake out as well. All right, this is interesting here because we had to put this wall in right here. Previously, this was an actual bedroom, but as you came scooting through, you'd be like, hello, how are you guys in here? So we couldn't believe it, but somebody thought it was a good idea to have a bedroom that did not have a wall. So anyway, we put that wall in and guess what we call this room? You got it. This is the blue room. So we have this fun picture in the blue room. We have a lot of dogs in our family and we're kind of dog people. So this is how this one looks. And then every room pretty much has a TV and then there's extra ones. So I think there's eight TVs in this house, which is funny because when people are here, it seems like nobody's really watching TV because there's too much to do. And we built this closet. And it's you know, nice and big. So that is the blue room. So down this hallway, we put in a linen closet in there. It's very nice. And then this one is the bedroom over the garage. And it's really unique. And it's called the gray room. So it's in a kind of a pyramid shape. but you can fit, you know, king size bed in here cuz it this this room is massive. And then near the end of our renovation we put this in. It's a DIY Mr. Cool mini split and it's running right now and it's so quiet. We we absolutely love it. And it it's a wonderful solution for this room cuz it used to always either be too hot or too cold in here and now it it feels great. So we have a lot of extra beds around <laughs> there. You can kind of find them all over the place, but this room would sleep a pretty big family because uh, there are beds aplenty. And then this was an area we were contemplating putting a bathroom in here, but then Right now it's a nice walk-in closet, and if the bathroom's here, then we'd have to find an area to put the closet. So, for right now anyway, um, we're just gonna leave it like this. And uh, so far everybody has been able to deal with the four bathrooms that we have. And speaking of which, Here's our upstairs guest bath. And so we got this floating vanity and then we put in this undermount lighting and it can stay on one color or right now it's programmed to change every few seconds. And it's very cool at night because you don't need to have any other light on. It's bright enough and uh, it works great as a night light. 
So we got tall ceilings up here too. We redid this floor. And we put that tub in, the vanity, mirrors, toilet, everything is new. And this, uh, this guy's on a slider. It's very nice. And we did all the tiling and that took a little bit of effort to get that all to work out. So this is how the upstairs hallway looks. And then this is the master bedroom. So this has got a killer view. This bedroom is enormous. So yeah, I forgot to say that downstairs we had to put in a bunch of windows because they hardly had any windows at all. And we put a bunch in up here to make that whole row, which is so cool because if you just leave the drapes open and you go to sleep you get up in the morning with the sunrise uh, over the lake and it is very nice and you can also see our fire pit and the pond and stream and waterfall and i can even see the fish from up here Alrighty, so here is the master bathroom This tub is cool. It's got an interesting look to it. It's a very peaceful bathroom. There's a throne room in there and you can have some privacy because it's enclosed. And then we did a double shower one has a wand, so you can wash your dog in there. Here is the master vanity. All right, now we're entering the master bedroom closet. And this closet is huge. So this house is currently being used by the owner as a vacation rental house. And there's 19 beds in this house. And therefore that creates a boatload of linen and towels that need to be washed. And so the owner's using this room at the moment, almost like, uh, <laughs> you know, like they're running a hotel. So anyway, you can see how much storage there is. And, and these are all the items that are used to run the vacation rental home. In the back left corner here is an area for a stackable washer and dryer. And we already have it plumbed. So if any person, whoever owns this house, wants to put a washer and dryer in the master bedroom closet, it's really cool because then you don't have to go all the way down to the basement to do laundry. And here's a very cool feature of this master bedroom. You can come out onto your own private deck. You got a beautiful sunny day today. So you just come up here and hang out and really it is about as private as can be. There's the main deck down there. But you can come out and get a nice suntan, read a book, just hang out. All right, so now we're going back through the master bedroom. And then when we first bought this house, the solution to get to the attic was a spiral staircase. That's where we now have the master closet. And so we took all that out and we made a big master closet. And then we figured out how to install a traditional staircase. There was just enough room to put it in because those spiral staircases, you really can't bring any furniture up them at least the one we had, it was just way too narrow. So anyway, this is a really wonderful solution for us. And then guess what? We got more beds up here. And even around the corner, another bed. But here's the surprise. Okay, here, check it out. This is our cool theater room. 
And so got a nice big screen TV and we've got eight of these adjustable reclining chairs and man, they are very sweet. They work just by, there's this little dial and those come out like that. And then what the young people like is there's a USB port right there in the chair so they can charge their phone and they don't really have to come out of there for most of the day <laughs> or most of the night. So we got four there and four on the other side. We've got a few DVDs to choose from. And then this is a really cool little window, this octagon. And you can see the lake. And there's our pond and waterfall and stream. Now, can you see the fish down in there? I'm going to try to zoom in. We'll, we'll check them out. You see about six right now. They're kind of, uh, let's see, they're right down in this area. All right, so we've seen three floors, but there's one more floor. Let's go see about that one. All right, here is our fun basement with the pops of color. So we'll start over here. This is the laundry room. And we've got our new water heater, which Dave installed. And through here, of course, another big television. And this is a fold out bed. This is our game machine. It's got about 400 games on it. Pretty much anything you can think of. And then these are where we keep our kayak paddles. And so we like that because it's colorful. It also is a nice, a nice way to keep everything organized. This is a nice pool table and it's got red felt. And Caleb stained all these walls and those are pine boards. My wife came up with the stain blend and Caleb executed it and it all turned out really nice to have a custom look for this basement. That is also Caleb's bar here that he built. It's very cool. We'll check that out a little bit in just a moment. So here is another bathroom. Their vanity. And then we tiled this one as well, so pretty nice to have a tiled bathroom in the basement. And then our solution down here was tight, so we did the barn door. And that works perfectly for this room because there's actually a double door. There's a little, little area in the middle here. So that works out nice. And then this is a, this dartboard is cool because it can, you can have up to 16 people play on that and it's electronic and it keeps all the scoring for you. This countertop actually was in the kitchen when we purchased the home. So we repurposed it down here and it makes a real nice countertop for the bar. We have a video where Dave and I were carrying it down here. <laughs> it was difficult to remove and difficult to bring down here and I'm surprised we lived getting that down into this basement. And anyway, we've got a sink, another giant fridge and more of Caleb's handiwork here. Very cool little wine room. 
the fireplace was absolutely massive down here. It was this whole area between the pool table and the couch and a, almost the length of the couch. It was double-sided. And it was so silly because you'd come down and you couldn't see your guest across the room because the fireplace was in the way. So anyway, we're really happy that we opened this room up and you can see we put in more beams. Our LVL beams are running right along there. In this house, we redid the HVAC, the plumbing, the electric, pretty much everything. Well, we hope you enjoyed your tour of the lake house. We'll put a link in the description below for a way that you could actually rent this house for your friends and family. It's an awesome place to have a family reunion. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because we have a ton of videos on the way. And thanks much for viewing. It was 450. Four hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of cash. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> it's got a lot of challenges. It's it's kind of funny yeah. because it's got either like huge pluses or huge minuses. Yeah. The plus is is the shoreline and the views. Those those are incredible. All right, we're going to put in an offer on this thing.